All right. Okay. So these are our next set of cards that you can choose from to really get creative. Um, I forgot though on the last video to show you how to do the heart, the flat, the heart that turns into a beautiful flower. Super easy. So let's do that first and then we're going to get into our next project. Okay. So step one, you want to grab a sheet of paper. You're going to need two because we have two different, um, you don't need to, but it would be nice, right? So we're going to take our sheet of paper. This is a nine, uh, nine by 11, I think like regular paper size. Again, you fold it in half. Remember our technique, fold it in half. Then you're going to fold that in half. Corner to corner, slide, slide, fold that in half. And then what you're going to do, and I want to show you, right? So right now we're here. This is where the center is. We're on the fold. This is the center of the paper. So it's open here and here's the center. Right where that is, right? Do you see that? We are going to go ahead and take this corner and fold that in half. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, so here we go. Do you see what I just did? I folded that down. You don't have to. You don't have to do that, but it makes it a little nicer, a little nicer to, to cut your heart evenly. So now I've got, it's almost like a triangle shape, right? So we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut curve. We're going to go straight around like a little snow cone. Cut, 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 cut. Can you see what I'm doing? Boom, boom, boom. And in just like so. You see that? Let's see. We can adjust it if we need to. So see, like I don't like it so square over there. So I'm going to add a little bit more curve. So now I've got my nice, remember it looks like a tear. And if I open it now, right, it's a heart. And then if I open that, it's two hearts. And then if I open that, it's my beautiful flower. So we have that. Now we do one that's a little smaller. And you have your inside of your heart. So that is how to do the beautiful 3D heart, right? You put that in a little envelope and they go, oh, what is this? Oh, how cute. What's my message? Bam. You hit them with the love. Okay. But now we get to do one of my favorite projects. And many of you did this with me. This is coming from a technique called water marbling. Water marbling is awesome. I just did a silk scarf. You can do it with all kinds of paints. What you're going to need is a tray of some kind. You can also use a maybe a plate you're gonna need some paper to marble right paper it should be a little weighty if not it's okay it'll just be a little wobbly okay and you're gonna need some either food coloring or you can use acrylic paint just water it down a little bit okay and you're gonna need some shaving cream yeah this is a lot of fun don't go crazy with this. All right. I remember when we did this in class and shaving cream was everywhere. But you want to shake your shaving cream. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. We're going to open it up. Let's see here. <laughs> did you just see what happened? Do not let that harm that happen to you. All right. We also need some napkins or some paper towels. Okay. And we need... A stick of some kind. It could be a straw. It could be some chopsticks, um, a skewer, but we need a stick. It could even be a ballpoint pen, but something. Okay. So let's go ahead. So I'm going to put down a nice layer of shaving cream down here. I know. Watch it. Watch it. It looks like snow. Okay. Got a nice layer. Bam. You see? Smells good. Too. Right now, I've got my colors. Now, remember the elements of alt. We've got 
color, our primary colors, yellow, red, blue, right? So let's get really creative. I'm going to start with my blue. I want this super calming. You got to be careful with your squeeze. You don't want to squeeze so much. Very gently, all right? So I'm going to go back and forth. Watch me on this. I'm just going to go up and back. And I'm just going to layer in my color just a little bit. Okay? See it? Then, okay, put the top back on. Then I'm going to take my green. Now, food coloring, if it gets on you, it is really hard to take out. So be careful. We're going to squeeze the green on. Okay, I've got my green. And then I think I'm going to do yellow. A little mellow yellow. I'm going to not do the red. You can do red. See what happens. So I'm going to do a little, now it looks like it's orange, mm. but I'm hoping this turns, right? All right. It looks like we're cooking. Are you cooking? I hope you are. This is a fun time to learn some new recipes. Okay. We're going to take our stick. You ready? Now we're going to go take a stick and go straight down just like this. And then we're going to uh, turn the corner and come back up. Look of there. And we're going to go uh, turn the corner like a race car. Meow. 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 Okay, here we go. 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 You Now, I've got it this way. Do you see that? It's making a pattern. I went up, down, up, down. Now, I'm going to take the stick and now I'm going to go this way. This way. Circle back around. Look at here. Ooh, maybe we should take cake decorating. I've never really taken cake decorating, but I think this might be a good time. And I've got this nice little line here. Now, if you want more, you can say, no, I want another stripe here. I want another stripe here. I mean, you can do this as many times as you want to to create some really cool designs, right? But you don't want to do it too much, and you definitely don't want to mix it because then you won't get this nice print. So, again, this is called water marbling. Well, in this case, what, shaving cream marbles? Yeah. All right, so let's make our beautiful artisan card. So now I've got my paper, and now I'm going to line up my paper and I'm going to ever so gently put it on my shaving cream and very gently, not smash, but very gently get the ends of my paper. Tappy, 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 tappy. Oh, yes. Make sure smooth. I'm going to put my good energy into this paper. Love. All right. So I'm smoothing it over where I make sure all the paper is in the shaving cream. You got it? Okay. Now, when we pull it up, it's going to look like the hairy beast. Do not fret. I will show you the magic. So we're going to pull it up, and it looks like that. You see? Uh-huh. Well, now let me show you how to create the paper. Now, that looks really good. We could probably get another print from that, too. All right. So let's put it down on our on our table, you might want to put down, you know, a plastic tablecloth or newspaper or something. Now, I have a ruler here, but you can use, you know, a window, what are those called, swipers? So you're going to hold it down, okay, like this, and you are going to start at the top or the bottom, and you're going to press, press really hard, but not hard enough to tear the paper. And you're going to scrape off all the excess. Do you see that? Whoa. All the excess shaving cream from that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that off. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you like that, see, this is ruining it. These are paint sticks, so it's fine. But now you're going to come back on the other side and, again, get all the rest of that 
shaving cream all the way off of your paper. Oh my goodness, this dates back hundreds of years. Maybe even thousands, I don't know. I believe they used to do this in China. Chinese water marbling. I believe that's where it originated. I have to check my facts. But now it's all the rage. And guess what? Now we have this beautiful, beautiful piece of paper that is custom designed to make your card. And I'm believing that we can probably make two cards from this. So go ahead and line it up, corner to corner, middle, middle, swipe, swipe, and look how gorgeous is this. This could be in that store papyrus, the Vera of Scales Stationery book. Anyway, have fun water marbling. I can't wait to see your designs. Take a picture of all the cards you make and let's just flood our first line responders with our love, our gratitude, Operation Gratitude coming at you. All right. Bye.